Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories, let's start with the story. AITA for defining to fabricate my job to win over my girlfriend's parents. I, 28M, have been in a relationship with my girlfriend, Sarah, 26F, for about a year, and things have been going really well. Recently however, Sarah asked me to do something that made me quite uncomfortable. We're planning to meet her parents for the first time next week, and she requested that I lie about my profession. I'm a graphic designer, and I genuinely enjoy my work. It's a fulfilling job that allows me to be creative and engage in a range of interesting projects. However, Sarah believes her parents will look down on my career because it's not as high-paying or prestigious as other professions. Sarah comes from a family of high achievers, her father is a lawyer, and her mother is a doctor. She's concerned that they won't take me seriously or approve of our relationship if they find out what I actually do. Therefore she asked me to tell them that I'm a lawyer. She even coached me on some legal terminology and provided me with a fabricated backstory to support the lie. I refused because I didn't want to start a relationship with her parents based on deception. I told her that if they can't accept me for who I am, it's better they learn the truth now rather than later. Sarah was very upset and accused me of being obstinate and unreasonable. She believes I'm making a bigger deal out of this than necessary, and that I don't understand how crucial her parents' approval is to her. Since our argument, she's been distant and cold which makes me wonder if I'm at fault here. On one hand, I understand she wants her parents to like me and support our relationship. On the other hand, asking me to lie about something as fundamental as my job feels like crossing a boundary. It's not just a minor fib, it's a crucial part of who I am and what I do. She's still my girlfriend, and I still love her, but now I'm starting to wonder if she truly loves me back. This whole situation is making me feel really confused. Before I only worried about the lying aspect. Now, after seeing many people say things like she doesn't respect me, is embarrassed and ashamed of me, is manipulative, deceitful, and a fraud, it feels like there's more going on than I initially thought. I plan to have a talk with her this evening. I'm unsure how to approach it since she's already on edge, hurt and distant. Despite all this, I still love her and unlike what others are suggesting, I'm not ready to end our relationship without trying to resolve this first. We've had a good year together, and I owe it to both of us to at least try to work things out. For those wondering why I haven't met her parents yet, it's because Sarah is in low contact with her family and they're not very close. They don't even know where she lives, just the city and state. As for her job, she works in marketing and makes half of what I make. Ironically, her parents don't have a problem with that as they are more traditional and believe it's a man's duty to provide for the family. Sarah doesn't share these views and her limited contact with her family is one reason she believes they won't find out the truth and that I should just lie. Update So I finally confronted Sarah about everything, and it did not go well. I told her I felt she was embarrassed by me and ashamed of my job. She went ballistic, asking me who was feeding me this nonsense. I couldn't tell her about posting on Reddit, so I said a friend made me realize it. She got even angrier accusing me of betraying her trust by sharing personal information with friends. I can only imagine how she'll react when she finds out 312 it people have seen it on Reddit. She insisted I was being unreasonable, and that if I wanted to meet her parents, I had to go along with her story. I refused, saying I wouldn't lie to them and was fine with not meeting them at all. I told her she didn't respect me or my job and was ashamed of me I even said that if she wanted to be this way, maybe I didn't want to be with her anymore. She started crying, calling me selfish, and saying I didn't understand anything. Then she revealed a major issue. She explained that the reason she has minimal contact with her parents is that they are extremely controlling and manipulative. They had impossibly high expectations and threatened to cut off her college funding if she didn't comply with their demands. After she graduated and moved away, they were enraged and cut her off, taking her trust fund. She's an only child and her only chance of getting back in their good graces and regaining her inheritance is to win their approval. She told me her parents would rather keep their money than give it to her if she didn't earn their approval. Sarah also admitted she planned to lie about both her job and my background. She said her parents would see me as a gold digger if they knew I wasn't wealthy and would never provide her with any money. She intended to fabricate a story about me coming from an old money family that they couldn't trace. Lying about my job wasn't enough, she said she needed to lie about my background too because being from an old money family was just as important. She hadn't told me this sooner because she feared I'd break up with her over it and hoped to persuade me without revealing everything. At this point I didn't know what to say. After reading all the comments on Reddit, I wasn't sure if what she was saying was true. 
I told her I didn't care about the inheritance. If she and her parents can't accept me for who I am, then maybe this relationship isn't right for me. She started crying again calling me a selfish bastard and saying she did all this for me and our future together. She envisioned a happy family, a home, children, and everything. I was deeply shaken, angry, and hurt, so I packed a few clothes and moved out to stay with a friend. Now, I'm unsure about what to do next. Featured Comments In this morning star, NTA it's real fucking rich that she's repeatedly calling you selfish when she's the one that wants you to lie and make up this elaborate story about your family history just so she can get her trust fund back. Maybe her parents are controlling, maybe it's more lies. Hard to know from someone so willing to say whatever it takes to get what she wants. Also claiming she's only doing this for your future is ridiculous. You both have good careers, you can have a family with a nice home and all the extra things in life without groveling for her parents especially because this will only be the beginning. If they truly are controlling like she says then she's planning to exchange control over your lives for more money. You don't think they'll want to say in things like where you buy a house? You already said they were upset she moved away. You don't think they'll demand a say in how your children are raised? And she'll bow to them on everything and insult you and say you're selfish if you don't do what they say because money is what is important to her. Just think long and hard about whether or not this is the future you truly want. Money is nice but is it worth letting other people control your life and having to lie about who you are to make other people happy? Kowet Kowet All this plus her lies about op a lawyer coming from an old wealthy family when father is a lawyer himself would be so easy to identify that he would be taken for a gold digger by the parents without any doubt. The strategy is totally stupid and op would never be able to trust her now. She is beyond stupid if any of this is true. Independent, yes. She said it's not just about the trust fund, but her parents' entire estate and inheritance. She is the heiress to that, but she said her parents are full of ego, pride etc., and I quote, when they die, they'll take the money to their grave rather than giving it to me, their only fucking child. She's been bombarding me with messages that we could use this money, and that she'll get most of it when we get married because her parents agreed to give some of the money if she marries someone they approve of. She's even created some sort of fake documents for me, and has been sending me pictures where everything but my picture is real. She's texting me that if the reason why I don't want to do this is because we might get caught, these documents will make sure we won't. I don't know what exactly these documents are, so if someone can recognize such documents, leave a comment and I'll DM you after blurring my face. According to her, she texted, see after this, they can never suspect us in a million years, and we will seem legit. I'm sort of leaving her on read because I don't want to ask her what exactly these documents are right now. But now I am sure I'll have to break up with her, because it seems like she has been planning this for months. She's really gone off the deep end, 